okay? And the card I pulled for you comes from the Earth Magic deck by Stephen Farmer, and it is Summer Solstice. It's about radiance. Let your inner fire out, Aries. I love this. Um, you know, first of all, it's summer in the Northern Hemisphere here, and it is time to get outdoors. Be outside more and more as much as you can. Breathe in that air, that summer air. Um, let that sun sort of inspire your inner radiance to shine out and express it out and, and share it with others. You know, when you feel a true appreciation and um, sort of lightness and brightness for life, then you naturally, that na the love naturally comes out of you and then it's returned back, right? It's an exchange of energy and you can really stimulate some inner light right now if you really work on it or if you just really actually just release it because you already carry it, right? All you need to do is let it out. Smile a little more, you know, um, be with nature and really notice all the beauty that's there, um, you know, with your loved ones and your close circle, show your love and really express it to them. These are ways that your radiance can have an effect on others. And in turn, it has an effect on your own life. Okay. The Zen tarot spread that we did here, this is called the tree. I kind of made it up. Um, we start with this branch here. It's where you are. And then we hit the trunk and move forward to the next level. Okay. So your starting point here, look at that. We are the world. We just said, shine your light upon the world, right? Like let it out, sh express it out. You will really benefit from this right now. You'll feel a sense of connection with those around you, even with strangers, you know, flash someone a smile every now and then when you're out and see how it affects the moment, you know, and um, feel that that connection that you share with everyone around you, really. It's wonderful. This is great, a great starting point. Okay, internally within you, your energy is kind of at odds with this by saying, I don't, I want to, I want to, um, I don't want to move forward. I don't want to express it out. So within you, you might have a little bit of hesitant um, energy that's saying, no, I just want to stay tucked away and keep things how they used to be. Right. I don't I don't want to go out and <laughs> shine my light on the world in this moment. It doesn't mean that you're you're always a recluse or anything, but you might feel a little protective, right? But I really feel that um, you have nothing to lose by trying, right? Just shine it out, you know, sing it out, dance, whatever. Um, that's what summer energy is about, okay? And you are a fire sign, so... Uh oh I dropped a card. You are a fire sign, so letting that sunshine out is, you know, that's your nature, Right? In your external world, just be careful. I mean, you're not going to be able to control anyone's responses, but just be aware as, you know, as open as you're going to become in this process, you might come upon people that are not as trustworthy. You know, we all wear masks like this card shows, but, um, you know, some people aren't as, um, ready to take their mask off, even in the face of this bright, shite, you know, bright, shiny light that you're going to radiate. So just be aware of those who kind of deserve your light, which everyone does, first of all, but if they're not receiving it fully, move on to the next, right? Like even if it's within your close circle, and someone's going through some darker times, and they're not really, they're not into your bright mood, you know, honor that, honor that it's okay. It's okay. You can move on. Go outside and dance, right? <laughs> okay. But this does, you know, just allowing others to be where they are, even if it's not in line with you, is um, that's the practice, right? I am still going to show joy. I am still going to radiate joy. I don't need anything back from you. Um, if you were more in touch with your truth and openness, you might, I might receive back some some happy, shiny love, but I don't need it because I'm just here to send it out, right? But trust me, the more you do so, the more that will come in return and you will start to feel more connected to those around you. 
remember, there's not a right or wrong way to go about any of this, you know, any, any of, any of life, (laughs) but, you know, you can, you know, I feel like maybe if you feel like you want to confine some of this energy and not really express it out, you might, it might be a mistake. You know, it's simply for the, um, for the sake of, you know, giving, expressing and, and being that light. And, and when we, um, hold back our light, then there really is no, then we, then we're not going, you know, when we hold back our light in like in this sense, look at, she's very stiff, everything's straight up and down and pressed and wow. But look how sad she looks or he, I don't even know what this is. (laughs) Um, You know, this figure is very, very tied up and, and even barred up in these bars. See that your, um, risk to just sort of let out your light is going to pay off. It will pay off. You don't have to hold back. Trust yourself. Look at this. See? Yep. Okay. So all of this is going to be, um, well, first of all, trust your instinct as far as, um, yeah, I feel like dancing right now. I'm going to, right? I do it kind of all the time. I do it at home and when my kids aren't watching, <laughs> because when I do, they're like, oh, brother, they don't want to watch. But I, you know, movement and, and expression in that way, there is a freedom to that, right? We, it's, it's very good for your soul. Um, so, you know, just trust yourself when you feel like shouting out, I love you to someone, do it. Just do it. Stay open because this will open up a channel in your heart and spirit. And actually through your crown chakra, you'll receive more. Um, Even if it's not from a human, like these people that are a little more shut down or worried about how things look, you know, this is right or wrong. You'll still receive a new refreshed sense of energy. And that's kind of the goal here, right? Is to express out your light and, um, you know, make the world better. Just make even the moment better, right? And um, so in your external world, in your external world, I have these mental cards, these mind cards, these resistance cards. The mind is not always in resistance, but at times when our spirit wants to flow through, our mind kind of shut, could shut it down. Like, oh, that, don't embarrass myself. I, I don't really want to, you know, run outside and sing. I don't want to, whatever. I, I'm being really silly with all this, but you, I think you understand what I mean. There's a deeper thrust under this of the energy that could be let out and be shared out there. Even if it only lands on three people that receive it, it's still, you're still going to benefit, right? So these mental chatter, you know, the mental chatter box that you have that kind of um, want you to, stay in place, you know, don't, you know, don't go outside or whatever. I I don't know. It's not really don't go outside, but don't express my light out. You know, other people might not receive it and then it's a waste or whatever. Don't listen to that. Don't listen to that chatter. Do it for the sake of the good feeling because your internal energies are both emotion cards. So they're both talking about, you know, digging up old stuff, letting stuff out, and then being open to receiving what comes through, right? This practice, as much as um, you may or may not believe it, will help you to avoid a burnout, okay? Um, Suppressing and holding things back and holding things in are really toxic to our spirit and our body. Our body catches up to this... um, later but our spirit knows it right away and you you know it'll wipe you out if you keep holding back and not expressing yourself and not being truly just who you are in every moment and um you know this uh that fire in you aries you you're so powerful that um yeah you really need to you really need to share that you really need to be that power 
right? Be in your truth, okay? Don't listen to the contrary um, opposing views or whatever, even if they're your own. Don't listen to those and just go from your gut and um, let it all hang out. It's kind of the, the message there. Let it all hang out. Okay, Aries, I just feel like I want to pull a couple more cards for you. Now, I don't do this. I don't usually do this, but I feel like this, this reading went by kind of quickly. And I want to, yeah, I want to pull a couple more for you. So let's see what comes up as far as, you know, um, another part of this message for you. Okay. And this is still talking about kind of letting it all hang out, letting your fire out, letting yourself be received out there. Um, yeah, see your creativity. It, it opens up a new flow of expression for you. It's big. And this is a major, this is a powerful shift for you. Um, if you're, all, you know, you're already, maybe you're in the creative arts and you felt a little blocked right? Well, the, the trick will be to drop that fight and express it out somewhere else. You know, it, it, it will loosen things up. And then after, it, I like this ending here, this turning in card, because after you've gone and let it all out and expressed it out and sort of stayed open to receiving back that joy, then sit with that, right? Absorb it. Absorb the process, absorb what you're getting from it and what you're gaining um, in the process. But I feel like it's important to avoid burnout, to release some creativity. And if you're not in the creative arts, we all have creativity within us that, you know, we really benefit from by letting it out. Okay. And this process will help that. Okay. So less mind, more fire heart, fire belly, you know, that you that you carry, and then emotionally really absorbing how that feels, you know, how, how much better you feel afterwards. Okay. 